Hey everybody, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, here to bring you some rumors of the next generation Xbox, which will be announced tomorrow, and also some things that I hope to see in the next generation console announcement tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, for starters, we have some rumors about the next generation Xbox. Uh, some sites have noted that it could be running Windows 8 at its core. This possibly could mean that uh, it's not exactly going to be running Windows 8 directly, like how you see it on RT devices and Windows 8 itself, but it'll just have some similar characteristics of Windows 8, and the main uh, platform that will be designed from the ground up will be uh, Windows 8's platform. And on top of that, uh, another rumor was that there will be a $300 with subscription model uh, cost for the next generation Xbox, and a $400 to $500 uh, flat out price for the next generation Xbox which basically you know uh, a lot of Microsoft has been uh, pushing uh, subscription services a lot lately you know with Office and even they have an Xbox 360 that you can I think it's $99 uh, and you get you have to pay a subscription I think it's over two years so they'll be pushing two different types they will be exactly the same but you'll be able to pay it two different ways one costs less but it's over a longer period and one is flat out uh, all at once, which is 400 to 500 dollars. Uh, now, personally, I think that this will be a good idea because some people, you know, they don't have the money to pay for it outright in one thing, or they don't want to fork over 500 bucks, half a half, you know, half a thousand bucks uh, in one sitting. They'd rather just have a smaller price and just pay it off. That way, you know, they're not wasting all this money at once. Cause say if they have other things to pay for, and then for those people who also want to. Uh, pay it all at once and not have to worry about thinking about payments every month. They can go with the full price 500 to 400 dollar one. But of course, that is just a rumor. And some more rumors is the specs of the next generation upcoming Xbox console. Uh, some I, rumors is that it will be using an AMD x86 processor architecture, which basically means that it will be running a processor similar to that of PCs just like the PS4 so uh, it'll be closer to related to the PC market than uh, anything else uh, also it would be having a Blu-ray drive that's no surprise there because obviously Microsoft currently is using a d special DVD drive for their Xbox 360 while the PS3 is already using Blu-ray so it's no surprise there bigger games bigger uh, storage sizes which includes which would fit the better graphics and longer games. Uh, it'll have eight gigabytes of external RAM. Basically, it'll have RAM, uh, you know, separate from the actual uh, processor itself. So it'll be, you know, it'll just have eight gigabytes of RAM. So it'll be closer to like a PC. Uh, it'll have a large hard drive. So basically, it won't have like say the starting the arcade version of the Xbox 360, which has like a four gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it'll probably have a larger hard drive, maybe hopefully around 120 or I saw a rumor talking about 500 gigabytes on a hard drive but I'm pretty sure that they will have multiple hard drive sizes so we don't have to exactly care about that as long as it's decently large and then on top of that they will also have a 8 core processor just like the PS3 or the PS4 sorry uh, so you can obviously play better graphic games and be able to handle more intense and crazy you know action that's going on in the game so that'd be a great thing for videos and you know movies and obviously games and everything like that so I think that'll be pretty great again all of these things are rumors and I'll have a quick recap at the very end of everything about all the rumors what I hope to see in the next generation Xbox console are basically something done with the Illumi Room concept uh, which was uh, shown off in a uh, demo video a while back. I'll flash a video on the screen showing the Illumi Room concept. Uh, it was a cool video because uh, it was like a device was shine was basically projecting images of the game type like some images of the game around your whole environment around you uh, preferably in a dark room and it was making it more immersive so it looked cool especially on shooting games and stuff which I had questions about before but it seems to work out pretty well on shooting games according to the demo and another thing is I hope to see a less of a major focus on mainly entertainment and more on hardcore gaming mainly because if you notice the current Xbox 360 uh, lately they've been pushing so much on you know 
entertainment and basically like television type of stuff. You know, they have Hulu Plus, they have Netflix, they have um, they have a whole bunch. They have uh, YouTube. They have Internet Explorer on it now. They have uh, a whole bunch of services. I think it's Machinima. They have it on there. IGN. They have a whole lot of services on there. And I hope that they focus in the beginning at least on you know m more hardcore gaming rather than uh you know entertainment sure i i expect them to have netflix in the next console and i expect them to have hulu plus because those are pretty much on everything nowadays but putting more focus on talking about those things versus you know the hardcore gamers which are pretty much the ones that purchase the xbox 360 i think that'd be a better focus and a better way to get their ideas out and market it and make it sell out like how the xbox 360 has been doing so well even lately uh, as being the number one console uh also i hope to see background downloading while playing so basically this means i hope to see that similar to the ps4's concept of being able to download a game and continue playing it while the same game is downloading uh I hope to see that true because you know it'd be great you know say if you download a game or if you started to download a game from the marketplace and knowing games nowadays they take you know they have a lot they take up a lot of space and they take a lot of time uh, even on the fastest internet speeds and so that means you have to wait for the latest game to come out and you have to wait for the latest game uh, that you download for it to finish downloading and doesn't you don't know how long that's gonna take uh, I hope you'd be able to play it while it's downloading that way you know you can jump in it right away sure it might be a little laggier but uh, you're still able to play the game and experience it so I hope to see that also and then another thing is I hope to see the I hope to be able to use the uh, Pandora or iHeartRadio or some kind of Xbox music stream service even if they put Spotify on there that'd be great too but I hope to do that I hope to be able to listen to those streams while playing a game because currently in the Xbox 360 you're only able to play games that are on your PC or you know those PNP devices you're only able to play those things in the background while you're say you're playing Grand Theft Auto or something you're only able to do that but I'd hope to see like you be able to choose say Pandora and just start streaming Pandora radio while you're playing your game because that would make things a lot you know a lot more cooler so you can play a variety of things that you say you normally wouldn't have I think that would be pretty cool and so yeah those those are some of the things that I hope to see in the next generation Xbox but we will see all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern and a quick summarization of everything that I said uh, about the rumors are we will hopefully we will maybe be seeing Windows 8 at the core of the Xbox console the new Xbox console uh, there will be a $300 uh, with subscription model or a 400 to 500 dollar model uh, and then also the specs are rumored to also be a AMD x86 architecture and also blu-ray drive which I'm pretty much confirmed that because what else do you expect unless Microsoft throws out some brand new type of disk format and then I 8 gigabytes of RAM a fairly large hard disk drive from the start and eight core processors so those are little things that I hope to see in the next generation Xbox console that will be revealed tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern uh, you can convert that to whatever time zone you are currently in and just note that you are able to watch the next generation Xbox events on Spike TV you're able to watch it on Xbox.com you're able to watch it on your Windows phone using the live event player the, or the live stream player that you can download as an app in the marketplace and you're also able to watch it on Xbox Live itself uh, so you anytime you log in on Xbox Live you'll see it and guaranteed tomorrow it'll be like the first thing that pops up on your Xbox even now that's the first thing you see so uh, tell me what you guys think and what you guys hope to see tomorrow or what you wish to see if you're watching it in the future after the event what you hoped you would have saw that they didn't announce uh... tell me what happens in the comments below and i'll catch you guys later also uh... expect to see news about the next generation xbox as it's happening and i'll catch you guys later Peace.